A war is currently being waged and you, dear viewer, are the most valuable resource. In a bad way. The economics of attention by George Lowenstein and Zachary Vorstogovitz has been truly eye-opening for someone with a broken brain like mine who can't focus on a simple task to save their Anyway, what was I saying? As an economist and researcher at Cambridge University UK, a question I've always been fascinated by is why is it that some of my students are able to have uninterrupted focus time for hours, nail their exams, while others not so much? And now, thanks to these lovable blokes, I know. And here's the most beautiful part. You don't need to read any intimidating tomes, download any expensive apps, or stalk your favorite productivity guru. Instead, all you need is this. To get to our destination, however, there's two stops that need to be made along the way. Starting with... At its core, economics is the study of scarce resources. And according to Lowenstein and Vostovics, in today's information economy, our attention has become one of the, if not the most coveted commodity out there. And here's the thing, it's no coincidence that more and more people are complaining about their attention being stolen or feeling that they can't focus like they once used to. I've bad news, honey. This is far from a conspiracy theory. Globally, the average person now spends like six and a half hours on the internet each day, and one third of US adults report that they are online almost constantly. From ads to video games to AI to sexy robots, new refined ways are being discovered each day, each second even, to keep you engaged. <laughs> So really, the first step to win this war for your attention is to become aware that you're fighting one, willingly or not. You're not broken. There's nothing wrong with like your brain, your spirit, your chakras, whatever. Instead, your biggest problem is that you're just too valuable. Your attention is so valuable, in fact, that fucking psychological warfare is used in order to capture it. That is the enemy. That is what we're fighting against. Now here's a fact of life that I've personally struggled to accept for the longest time. You and I were both kind of stupid. I'm sorry, but there's no easy way to put this. The reason why it's so easy for advertisers and the like to like exploit us and shorten our attention spans is because they can. And this is precisely what my homeboys Lowenstein and Vostoviks draw our attention to, albeit in much friendlier terms. We've evolved to like pretty colors, attractive shapes, and drama, so these are precisely the base instincts that will be preyed upon in order to steal our focus. But the problem actually runs much, much deeper than that. You see, because most of us, when we try to fix our attention spans, kind of wrangle back the focus from these tech demons, we generally go about it in entirely the wrong way. We try to be smart. One day, we wake up dissatisfied with our lives and tell ourselves, Right! This is going to be the day I get my shit together! So we watch the latest self-improvement videos, set up a daily routine, start exercising, journaling, reading, etc, etc, and ultimately fail. Once more, we retreat to what is comfortable, the sweet embrace of cheap dopamine. Hopefully, you now see the issue, you now see the vicious circle, and hopefully you see...
So at the start of the video, I mentioned that one of these sticky notes is actually all you need to kind of fix your attention span and take back what is rightfully yours. Oh, f but to get there, to truly heal and ultimately win this war, you need to accept the hard reality that this is not something that's going to happen overnight, nor is it going to be like this sweet, smooth process. Au contraire. This is the most important mindset shift that allowed me to kind of get over my ingrained desire for perfection and ultimately allowed my brain to kind of just breathe. Anyway, enough of that sappy shit, let's get to it. When you catch yourself doom scrolling, hubbing, or like reminiscing over long gone days when you used to cosplay as Lara Croft, to each their own vices, when you find yourself in one of these brain rot episodes and kind of feel your attention slipping away, take out a sticky note or card or whatever and simply put it in writing. Right now I'm doom scrolling. I will not shame myself for it, but I'd rather focus my attention on something else. Uh. Honestly, what you write on your sticky note it isn't even that important. The important part is that even if for 20 seconds you wrestled your attention away from the distraction and onto something, something very small mind you, that you chose to focus on. This right here, this baby step, is the fundamental building block on which more and more complex routines can now be built upon. Uh. Become aware of doom scrolling and do a couple of push ups. Become aware of doom scrolling and work on your new erotica novel featuring Marvin the Martian. To each their own vices, your attention is the most valuable commodity currently in existence. Take control. But yeah, really go ahead and read that paper. It is actually so insightful. I love it so much. Um, it offered me this new perspective because when you start thinking about our attention, about the time we spend as kind of a resource, a valuable resource that people are literally, you know, f carrying out psychological warfare for, you start realizing just how important it is to pay attention to it and to kind of paying attention to attention, whatever, to kind of be mindful of how you distribute it. It's it's fascinating stuff, and I feel there's so much more to say about it, but I pr always say, if you're going to start something, if you're going to make a change, then this is the way to go. Right, this is going to be the day I get my shit together.